What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 YouTubers who revealed how much money they make. Now this is a super interesting topic a lot of viewers really care about, but to be honest, most creators care a lot more about their fan base and posting videos than how much their paychecks says they've earned. Speaking of earning money, if you want to enter our free weekly Amazon gift card giveaway, all you have to do is click subscribe and comment your favorite spot on our list and why it's your favorite to enter. Also, if we can get 10 million likes on this video, I might go ahead and reveal how much Top 5 Central earns. Anyways, with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5. Rice Gum Rice Gum revealed his earnings to his viewers only a few weeks ago, but it seems like he might have done it for completely the wrong reasons. Instead of wanting to be transparent or just give his fans an interesting video, he said he wanted the admiration and praise that other YouTubers got when they talked about their income. However, he made it clear that that was pretty unlikely, as his comment sections are so toxic that they make him hardly want to make videos anymore. Now, for someone who doesn't want to make videos though, he's doing pretty well for himself, as the money he made in February added up to over $60,000. Also, by the way, it's worth to mention that this video is in no particular order, so I just wanted to say that. Anyways, apparently that was a slow month for him too, as he only made 4 videos and clocked up just 20 million views. According to him, his usual figures are much bigger, and he only took a break because he doesn't care about the money and would rather spend his time meeting girls at the beach. Yo guys, it's me again. Guys, there's like this video that has been going crazy viral, and basically in the video he shows how much money YouTube has paid him, like the exact amount, and usually YouTubers don't, you know, disclose the information. At first, I thought it was like against the rules, like you couldn't tell whatever, right? So last month, I only got 20 million views. Keep in mind that during summer, I was uh, getting like 60 million to 80 million views, so I definitely uh, took a step back, and it's all my fault, like I just don't post. So right here uh, is my estimate revenue, I'm gonna click on it. But yeah, just for the purpose of me not getting in trouble I have everything blurred but the first number so last month I made a roughly sixty thousand uh, dollars for one month uh, I mean it's okay it is actually my lowest paid month once again I only got 20 million views so. number four Adele Ramshrin you might think that you need to be hugely successful on YouTube to make money and that makes sense since not many people go into detail about how it actually works it turns out though that you only need a few thousand subscribers and a weekly upload schedule to be making a little bit of extra money for Adele Ramshrin, who is a life coach and financial advisor with under 100,000 subscribers, she's managed to pull in $700 a month with what she calls minimal effort, uploading roughly weekly but only really putting 10 minutes or so into filming. Compared to some of the higher earners on this list, it really doesn't seem like that much, but for the average person, a monthly check like that could seriously alter how they think about work and money. Now, the reason why I'm showing you these paychecks is because before I received them, I, maybe like you, used to think that you needed millions of views and thousands of subscribers before you could make any money on YouTube. So I hope that's the proof for you that it's not true. So like I said, I get one of these every month. And um, so here's the first one. Google, Del Ramcharan, and amount due, 547.74. And you can see right here it says, this check is for your earnings as part of the Google AdSense program. Here's the one before that. 515. So those ones are a, like a couple of months old. Those are probably about four months ago I received like. Number three, Vexed. According to himself and a few other YouTubers, Vex was the first channel to really show how much money making videos was allowing him to earn, and his videos started the trend of other YouTubers being open and honest about their payments. However, that turned out not to be enough for him, so he made a follow-up video focusing on the irony of making money on a video where all he did was talk about the money he was already making. As it turns out, the video where he revealed his $24,000 since he started hit over a million views really quickly, so that video alone could have made him upwards to around $3,000 or so. It's pretty funny that talking about money has allowed him to make so much more off it, as that was the video that really pushed his channel into the mainstream. With that said though, I have to applaud him for being the first person to do something like that, as it made a lot of other YouTubers be more honest with their audience by setting a completely new standard. Okay, so I've pulled up the large scale graph here for this month, and as you can see, each one of these dots is a different day, and on one of these days I was making like, Jesus, $750 per day, that, that's a lot of money, dude. This all comes from ads, by the way. So basically when people click an ad, the advertiser has to pay the YouTuber and YouTube, etc. As you can see on this day, this is the day I had the most views, and I earned about $750, but if you go down over here, which is, this is just a typical day, you can see I'm only earning like $58 per day. YouTube revenue changes quite a lot, so let's go back and see exactly how much money I've made over my entire YouTube career. Okay, so this is the graph of all the money I've made, and as you can see, $26,000, which is, Jesus, that's more than I thought, actually. I haven't checked this in a while. But when I started my channel, like, it started very slowly, I was earning, like... 
Number 2, Boogie2988. Of all the YouTubers on this list, Boogie2988 was probably the least clear about what he made in terms of numbers. But he more than made up for it by being honest about what the money meant to him and inspiring other people to follow their YouTube dreams. Even though we don't have an exact monthly figure, we know his income allows him to live comfortably in Arkansas, as well as funding the gaming habit that is crucial to his channel. We also know that he'll hopefully make his first million within the year, and that his assets separately are worth over a million, even though he doesn't think anyone will want to buy his channel. Considering he calls himself one of the least hardworking YouTubers he knows, that level of comfort is something to really be admired. Especially since he no longer has to worry about being unable to pay for his health conditions to be treated. They're actually changing the world. YouTube gives you the opportunity to not just um, pay your rent, which is what it did for me for a really long time, or pay my extensive medical bills. You know, we pay $750 a month for insurance, and now I'm seeing my doctor a couple times a month. My medical bills are the largest thing that I pay for by none, by bar none. You know, buying a new Xbox is nothing compared to one visit to, to my endocrinologist, but that's just the cost of life. But fortunately, YouTube allows me to pay for that. And uh, it could eventually be to the point that you can hire other people, you can create new things, you can put new things into the world. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video, I try to give you an idea of how much money I make. The question came up on stream last night and it keeps coming up all the time. Boogie, are you a millionaire? Well, it depends on how you calculate millionaire. Uh, do I have the assets to be worth a million dollars? If you include my YouTube channel as it is, yes, because I have had it evaluated and it's currently been evaluated at $850,000. So if I were able to sell this YouTube channel, theoretically, I would be able to put $850,000 to the bank. The problem is I have not built a business like College Humor or even Philip DeFranco. I can't sell what I've created. I am what I've created here on YouTube. So Phase Adapt only makes the honorable mention on this list, as he's maybe the most vague about what he makes. However, that's totally his right, and from the information he thinks is hilariously inaccurate, we can make some guesses about his actual worth. He said that most of the net worth websites he checked were not entirely correct, and most estimated his net worth at around $1.6 million. Apparently, his real net worth is just under that, but that he'll reach that number sometime soon. Even if he hasn't hit 1.6 million yet, it's still an impressive amount, especially when you consider how young he actually is. Given how hard he's worked to get there though, he has definitely earned it and deserves to celebrate. Total net worth is about 1.4 million dollars as of 2016. Wow, that's a lot of fucking money. Too bad that this is not actually my net worth, okay? Little overshot. Not quite there yet, networth.com. I don't even know how accurate this site is. Let's see what they said about some of my friends. Face rain. Norden's net worth is about $800,000 as of 2015. Okay, that definitely, he definitely should have more than me. But this is dated to 2015 and I think mine was 2016. I don't know, this website isn't too accurate, alright? That's all I'm gonna say. I would just say don't believe what you guys see on these websites because they are not accurate. What about this? Number 1, FoozyTube. Now FoozyTube never made a video disclosing his earnings, but what he did instead was kind of weird and random. Most YouTubers in their videos made it quite clear that they had worked hard but got lucky and that the money really wasn't that much of a big deal to them outside of letting them continue to make videos for a living. However, FoozyTube's tweet will go down in history as one of the biggest humble brags of all time as he turned his $200,000 a month earnings into a joke. It's hard to tell if he's being self-depreciating or genuinely full of himself, but it's still kind of hilarious either way. In fact, his tweet was so influential that it was part of the reason Boogie2988 decided to address the subject himself because the tweet generated just that much buzz. And there's our video on the top 5 YouTubers who revealed how much money they make. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use our extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.